Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up the polar bear headlight on the electric scooter. So all you need is this cable with XT60 and they have fuse and they have on off switch. Also the cable come on with XT90. For scooters, they come with XT90. This headlight is compatible from uh, 12 volt up to 80 volt. So let me show you how I'm I'm gonna wire it on the scooter. I already I already took the cover, and here's the wiring system. And this is the battery cables. All we need to do to unplug any one of these XT60 and put the headlight cable XT60 so it's ready now as you can see you can do same like this and this one here it's ready to connect the headlight now I'm going to show you how to uh, install the headlight on the scooter. So the headlight come with switch for low beam and high beam. This low beam and high beam and will be like this. So once you turn on the, the uh, cable, XT cable, it will light up the halo. For example, the, the daylight. And from there you can go low beam and high beam. And I'm gonna install it now on the, uh, I'm gonna install the skull headlight on my scooter. So the scooter I have, they have two tube for suspensions. So uh, the headlight come already with a mount similar to this one. So I installed one and I'm gonna install the other one now. So it's easy. They have three hole for adjustable uh size if it's you have a smaller or bigger it's still a work so i'm gonna show you how to install it this need to be like this and here we put this screw here and the nut from here So it's already installed and I'm gonna install the skull headlight from Polar Bear. All we need to do, take out these two screws on the side. This here and the other side. Uh, I already installed the so here I already mount the cables with the switch for high beam and low beam already here and I'm gonna wire the headlight together so it's ready now all I need is to connect it to the cable the XT cable that I wired from the battery all I need to do, plug in this one, and the light is already on from this switch, 
I can turn it on and off. And from the switch on the handlebar, I can make it high beam and low beam. High beam and low beam. And this is how you mount it on the scooter. It's very easy setup installation and it's very bright. I'm gonna show you how it is look in the nighttime. And this how it's look in the final installation, how I did it. I zip tied the, ca the cable here and here and here. And I kept this one. I will put like something to stick it here. So it will be on off from here. And the switch will be from here for the low beam and high beam. And as I told you, I will show you in the nighttime how it's look in the nighttime. Hello, as I say, I promise you guys, I wanna show you how is the light working in the nighttime. So here it's very, very dark. So here, let me show you how is the scooter itself, the scooter itself headlights. So without my polar bear headlights. So this is how is the scooter itself headlights. So now I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn the polar bear headlight on. So it's on and here here's the, here's the high beam and here's the low beam. As you can see how much is bright. And here you can help with a scooter headlight. So here, just the scooter headlight by itself. And here with the headlight. The polar bear. Low beam and high beam. And here's the other bike. Is the other design is the... Is the X-Class. The area rider. And here's how is it work. can see here here's the low beam and here's the high beam and thank you so this is here the skull headlight and this one is the X headlight and thank you